Olympian effort. Go wireless. And Year of the Dragon. These are the top stories this week under the Pentastar. The Chrysler Group LLC's Dundee Engine Plant in Michigan and its Windsor Assembly Plant in Ontario, Canada have been awarded bronze status for their efforts in implementing world-class manufacturing. Bronze is the highest ranking of any of the company's North American manufacturing facilities. Both plants received the bronze designation less than three years after adopting the WCM operating system. World-class manufacturing is a methodology that focuses on reducing waste, increasing productivity, and improving quality and safety in a systematic and organized way. The Dundee engine plant produces the 1.4-liter fire engine for the Fiat 500, as well as the 2.0 and 2.4-liter engines, while the Windsor assembly plant builds the award-winning Chrysler Town & Country and Dodge Grand Caravan minivans. Well, Mopar has come up with an industry first way to charge up without wiring up. So we uh, are going to introduce an industry first, as we did for other parts, uh, a wireless smartphone charger. It's a simple mat that you're going to have uh, into, inside your car in the console and you just need to drop your phone on and uh, the phone will be charged. The company will first make the technology available on the all-new 2013 Dodge Dart that arrives in dealerships in the second quarter of this year. Chrysler will unveil this Chrysler 300C design concept created specifically with Chinese elements in mind as the Chrysler brand announces it will return to the China market at the 2012 Beijing International Automotive Exhibition on April 23rd. Also, this Jeep Wrangler design concept, inspired by the Year of the Dragon, will showcase the opportunity for special editions that might be available for Chinese customers in the near future. And finally, just hours after the successful introduction of the all-new SRT Viper at the New York International Auto Show, the SRT brand held a special Viper Owners event that raised $50,000 for the New York Police and Fire Widows and Children's Benefit Fund. Public and silent auctions raised another $110,000 for the Young Detroit Builders Project. And members of the SRT team announced that the very first handmade 2013 SRT Viper will be auctioned off by Barrett Jackson Auction House with proceeds going to the Austin Hatcher Foundation for Pediatric Cancer. And those are the top stories this week under the Pentastar. For Chrysler Electronic Communications, I'm Ed Garston reporting.